How's it going everyone? So, as I've stated previously, I'm going to make a video about a Mandela Effect. And this one actually has a very specific story behind it. And not only that, it has a Mandela Effect inside the Mandela Effect. Here's the thing. It's been a while since I talked about this subject. And, uh... It's a shame because it's one of the key foundations to this entire channel. For those of you who've been here a while know that. And um, But you know what? I got a little bit burned out of it because it was just contemplating and meditating on it for days on end and weeks on end. And you're just, it's so frustrating. It's one of those ultimate frustrating subjects that just really mess with your mind and especially after our position in the milky way changed and the carl sagan residue and uh all that stuff related to um our position in space that just kind of like that did it for me i i was like you know what I don't know. I don't have an answer for this. I don't know what's going on. And I've been meditating on that a little bit since. And I've been kind of frustrated, actually, even more. Because I realized that so many of these changes, like on a quantum level or whatever it is that's actually happening. If we were inserted into a computer, I don't know what it is as nobody really does, um, we don't really know what they mean or if they're changing things for the better or for the worse or if they're not changing anything at all. I mean, I don't know. But you would think that, you would hope that something like this would start changing like really important things for the better. But instead, it seems to focus on a lot of trivial movie nuances and a lot of logos. And But then again, then we have the whole sun and sky thing, which I'm not going to get into right now. I'm going to be on Emily Moyer's show, and we could probably talk about that next week. It's frustrating, though, um, that if, you know, the reality is so fluid then let's change things for the better, right? Instead of just some mo phantom movies or logos or things like that. Anyway, um, so I'm reading my book. As I'm reading, as I'm uh, waiting for the Aramaic translations, I actually ordered two of those. And I was hoping they would get here because I would be making videos on them already. There are other translations of the New Testament in terror make by the same author and things like that but it's on back order and they're out of stock so i'm gonna have to wait but i'm reading this other book right uh about the occult and freemasonry and all that and um it mentions this event um that's re that was related to a specific person in italy that was i don't remember the exact story but he was some kind of extremist terrorist who was also the member of a lodge in Italy. And um, he he basically conducted this attack in Bologna, Italy, I believe in 1980, a, a train station bombing, basically. And um, it ended up killing 85 people, I believe. And this was a massive incident. And so I'm reading as uh, towards the end of the book already, and I'm like, well, that's interesting. I never heard of that. I, I thought I pretty much knew every mass casualty incident, probably going back 50 years um, from, you know, the, the Lebanese incidents in Beirut um, dozens of years ago from the airline hijackings from the 70s, the KLM and... All of these incidents, um, these major historical events, um, of course, there are plenty of, this happens more often than we think. This is true, right? You're probably thinking, well, what's a big deal? Like, 
you don't you didn't hear about a historical event from 1980 so what well an event like that i would have heard about and uh i would have heard about um I heard I know about smaller events like things that happened in Ireland with the IRA in 1980s in the you know stuff like that. So I would have known about it heard about it one time in my life. Uh, Bologna, Italy 1980 85 people dead. Um so I just figured I didn't even think Mandela effect at that point. I just figured okay whatever there's plenty of stuff I don't know big deal i just sort of moved along a new event right and uh there are other mass casualty incidents that have been inserted into our reality as you guys know the black tom explosion in new york during world war one uh research that and let me know if you ever heard of it <laughs> guarantee you didn't but um so the a couple of weeks go by and i hear about this incident twice more on random youtube channels and i'm like oh there it is again so i'm like oh it's a synchronicity like i get a hundred times a day i'm so used to these synchronicities at this point that they've become second nature to me redundant i don't think anything of them I'm like oh there's that incident again in bologna italy in 1980 i'm like wow that's interesting that i would hear about it again twice whatever so i end up watching a channel specifically on mandela effects having no idea that this was considered to be one um and i haven't watched anything on a mandela effect in a while so i'm like okay let's let's take a look man let's refresh my memory let's get back into this most confusing of subjects so it, it, I watched this channel and he's talking about this explosion in Italy in 1980, Bologna, Italy in 1980. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So this was absolutely shocking to me. So it wasn't just necessarily me misremembering. This is actually a legitimate Mandela effect that a lot of other people consider it to be a Mandela effect, but even more than that, there's a Mandela effect inside this incident, like an inception sort of idea, um, where basically what happened was that during this attack, you had the clock at the train station stop at 1045 or something like that, I don't remember. And it froze, so the clock broke and froze at ten forty-five, which was the time, which was the time that the incident happened. So the Mandela effect with the clock is that a lot of locals remember that the clock was never fixed and it was kind of left as a memorial at ten forty-five a.m. or whatever. But a lot of other locals in that area remember it being repaired right away. So you have one group of people not remembering it ever being repaired and another group of people remembering it being instantly repaired so which one is it that just kind of proves that this is some sort of timeline insertion i i would have heard of it i would have heard of it somewhere at some point i haven't having all the documentaries i watched about over all these years about all these incidents about all these mass casualty events about freaking everything i would have heard about it once i never did and uh I'm not saying that you have not maybe you have maybe it's always been in your version of earth that's okay that doesn't prove it to me though sorry Anyway, I just thought it was interesting how the sort of sequence of events plays out where I'm reading it in this book and then I see it on these random channels and then it turns out that it is a Mandela effect and this stuff, it's just, it's mind-boggling. What else can I say about it? Um, one thing I will say is that I never did a live stream on the Mandela effect 
Uh, we talked about a bunch of other stuff so far. So if anyone wants to, um, I know a few people that definitely would, but please say something below because if nobody does, I'm not, I don't want to talk about it on my own. That's the thing. I want it to be like a group conversation if we do. So if any, even one person wants to, I will, uh, I'll go live talking about this. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Emily's show. I think it'll be the fourth time on, on there. So, all right, take it easy, everyone.